Chivalry is not dead. Looking back at a history of 900 years, the Order of the Holy Sepulchre is one of the oldest Catholic papal orders of knighthood. Just before Christmas, a central moment of the life of the order took place in Rome, the investiture of new members. Among them, none other than EWTN's Joan Lewis, known to viewers from her blog Joan's Rome, her radio show Vatican Insider and as a recurring guest at At Home with Jim and Joy. In a so-called mass of investiture, Joan and 43 other knights and ladies were received into the order. That was extraordinary. It was extraordinarily moving uh, because of the liturgy also. Hundreds of years ago, this particular ritual began. So it's not something just invented a few years ago or perfected in 2014. It goes back hundreds of years. And it's a beautiful ceremony. There were 37 men and eight women. And what we do, there's a prayer vigil beforehand. And that's where we make vows and a profession of faith. But the mass itself, where you go up, you stand with your cape over your arm, and the women have their white gloves and their veil on the cape, because we all wear the same. It's a black cape with a red cross on a shoulder. And and then the men have white capes and a red cross on the shoulder. And we process up, we give our capes to someone. We then kneel and receive our main decoration from the bishop. In this case, it w in my case, it was a bishop. Then you move to the side where a person has your cape. You turn around, they put the cape on your shoulder. And I have to tell you, for me, the entire thing, by the way, they also gave us a beautiful book of the Gospels and the Acts of the Apostles. It was like really taking religious vows. The Order of the Holy Sepulchre has as its principal mission the practice of Christian life by its members in fidelity to the Pope to assist the religious, spiritual, charitable and social works and rites of the Church in the Holy Land, particularly of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem. Our primary mission, there's 30,000 of us in 38 different countries, and our primary mission, we're all focused on the Holy Land. So what we do, we support the, the building of schools, the building of hospitals, maybe maternity hospitals. There's a lot we do to support the existing Christian structures and to protect holy places, the Holy Sepulcher, other shrines, and so forth. So that is our main goal. We're in all these different countries, but we're all focused on the Holy Land. Lady Joan has been active for quite a while already and participated in the Order's life. I've known of the Order, of course, for many years and even have written about it. But I'm greatly in love with the Holy Land. And any time, I mean, I would go there on weekends if that was possible. So what the Order does, the protection of Christians in the Holy Land, they are an ever-diminishing number, living out our faith as followers of Christ. That's something I've tried to do for years anyway. So the investiture in December was a, a mere formality. But you are invited into the Order. You do not ask. You you are invited in for meritorious service to the church, to fellow mankind, and so forth. So for me, it was a humbling experience. It's a great honor, but you know what? It is also a call to service. The order today has approximately 23,000 members in 52 lieutenancies around the world, including monarchs, crown princes, and heads of state. Its headquarters is situated at Palazzo della Rovere, on the Via Conciliazione by the Vatican.